Hello everybody, welcome back to Grunt League 2024. <laughs> I'm your host, yeah, yeah. Nazarak. <laughs> I'm here today with uh, the legendary Revan. Uh, hello everyone. How are you feeling? Yeah, uh, yeah, pretty good, pretty good. It's early in the morning for me. It's even earlier for Raven. So <laughs> huge respect for him for playing this this early. And we are having uh, clock rule against uh, Raven on over the top, I guess. Over the top, that's correct. So we've got um we've got two very different lineups from Clockroo and um and Raven here. So be definitely uh there's definitely a winner. Um, Clockroo is <laughs> starting out with his para. He's got a scout, two sappers, and another scout. Hmm, it's interesting that guys are not uh, starting with medic. Like yeah, I, I was surprised to see that there was no medic. Uh, we will see Raven lineup, but uh, as I feel, I can uh, reach. With the uh, new skips, uh, even in 30 seconds with medic, it's uh, risky, and I'm not sure if on 30 seconds you got the courage to do that. Yeah, definitely. Uh, but on 45, even without skips, actually, because yeah. one side, I, I think it's player one, it got three skips into the artillery. You can even like ignore paratroopers at all. Yes, definitely. Mm, Raven. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Raven starting with two paras. Raven's starting with two... Raven, sorry, not Raven. <laughs> Raven is starting with two paras, and he's got two <laughs> gunners as well, so uh, definitely trying to make the most of the um, the hilly terrain that is over the top. Um, yeah. So it should be, should be quite interesting. So, and we've got... Um, and Clockery's gone for two sappers as well, so he's kind of close range, whereas Raven's going for a bit more long range. Um, um, yeah. I'm not sure about uh, gunners for Raven. I mean... Uh... Trenches on over the top are great for dealing more than 50, like, you can always deal something like 60 with mortar, but it's only if you are using mortars. That's, yeah, over that's the top absolutely is, right. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, in the category of uh, probably canyon in terms of how uh, how difficult it is to learn mortar because of terrain Yeah, of course, difference. yeah. I'm, I know I'm terrible at mortars and it's very hard to master, you know, so if, you, if you're good with mortars, definitely go for the gunners, but um, we'll, we'll be able to see Raven's um. Uh, yeah, it's much easier to play here. gunners on different map. Like, yes. Over the top is. Yeah, you gotta definitely. Man. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta definitely get it right in the, uh, into the the crevices. <laughs> this is a uh, very interesting thing. I don't I guess remember we'll, um... if yeah if Clockerow got uh, engineer. Uh he does. Yes, he's got two okay, nice. going. So yeah, nice. Should be quite an interesting match. So yeah, I guess we'll get uh, we'll get started then, shall we? Yeah, yeah. So I'll, I'll hit start and then I'll give control back to Clockroo. Yeah, we Here got we go. the insane setup. <laughs> yeah, this is this is the crazy part of the setup, but it's not. We've managed to get. And it I down think I part. need the uh, stream back because <laughs> it closed the stream. Oh really? <laughs> oh no. Yeah. There we go. All good. And <laughs> thankfully, I won't have to touch this. There's no chance of me um, disabling Clockroo's input here. Uh. Because, oh, let's hope he's going to move. Yeah. yeah yes, he's moving. Okay, all... good. So we're not changing files uh, on this one, so definitely um, no nice chance speed. for me to mess that up. Yeah, for clock, you can uh, actually reach uh, artillery without, uh, uh, without jetpack. But he's using one, and he's used, uh, like, uh, entering the opposite side. Yes, yeah. Aww. It's interesting seeing this map not at uh, not in a darker set, uh, setting. They've definitely changed the colors on this. I'm not sure if that was um, the level editing, but um, it's weird seeing it not uh, darker. It's gone for a long range <laughs> shell. These are really hard to, to get perfect because the, the range on them is very strange. Yeah, I can agree, but um, as soon as you understand that long range... Uh, they're working exactly like bazookas yes. and uh, thousand shells. They work like you are throwing grenade. So yes, if yeah. you're starting to think about artillery as a pick, it's getting easier. Uh, can we actually uh, remove the sync detected messages? Oh yes, good idea. <laughs> That's a... uh, perfect. There we go. Yeah, it's, you press M and you delete it. Yes, it's interesting thanks. animation there. You kind of went inside the artillery. Yeah, and for uh, clock it would be, or oh, for Ru, I guess, yeah. 
yes. his main uh, <laughs> part of the nickname is Ru. Yeah. Ru, it would be perfect to use uh, uh, this artillery so, mm. uh, because it's so much easier to use thousand pound shell on yeah, the Raven Yeah, it's just a bit higher up. Mm -hmm. Get that distance. I would say both artillery usages are uh, like they're not efficient enough, but uh, I guess Raven got a jetpack out of it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, uh, obviously securing the artillery is is crucial. At least getting in one. Yeah, that's gonna course. gonna be good. I kind of like this turn uh, since there is no healing object, no magic. Uh, yeah, there'll be no like there'll be no crazy um uh you know overpowered pigs in the in the lineup there. It's just, you know it's just them and their wits about them, you know? Which I think is um a bit refreshing the normal Noma action. Yeah, and poison it's uh, more even mental. Yeah. Uh, getting it into the face without any possibility to remove it. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm, gonna I'm gonna try some artillery <laughs> sabotage here. Now, do they have yeah, 200 I... HP or 100 in this? I didn't. Uh... Uh, 200, I think. 200, yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, I'm not sure so I would play the same, slide but. Down. Uh, yeah, it's. I think it was it's definitely a strategy that. to focus artillery. Yeah, definitely. A, a <clears throat> very good strategy there. Instead of floating all the way down on the parachute, he chooses to slip on the, the sliding surface there. So he's gonna get down faster and he, he managed to get a bazooka off without um, skipping his oh, turn. There. It's actually turned out to be a great turn by Raven. Like, he moved uh, uh, Scout close to him, so he's kind of body blocked and now yes. Ruga to do something else, but yeah, very with efficient. 45 seconds yeah. hey, it's the easiest skip you got here, he's not using it. I probably think he is not aware of any skip, like, from the way he's playing. Mm. Here is the second one, and he is not using it, yeah, probably he is not aware of skips on over the top. And the third one, yeah. All three ignored. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kinda not expecting grants to be using them, but, uh, like, if you're preparing for the match and you're watching at least a couple games on over the top latest, uh, I think all of them used like at least a couple. Yeah. Yeah, that's the problem of uh, invading to engineer territory. It's so easy to deal 50 damage and Definitely. you know, for grants, yeah. Yeah, dealing huge damage is... is uh, Especially with 45 problem. seconds, you can go across the whole map, you know, you don't have to worry about um, being too far away from the engineer, you can, or the sapper rather, yeah, that's what they call him, yeah. They, um... Yeah, and that's uh, what is cool about the uh, rule lineup, you can easily destroy artillery fast, but uh, mm, I kind of feel it's over uh, overcrowding one map with engineers, but we will see. If he will be yeah. like... I think he was planning for a worst case scenario and the fact that, um, you know, he's got plenty of shrapnels to work with <laughs> um, in case something crazy happened and he wasn't able to get the artillery. That was a nice, oh, nice. hundred there. Perfectly flush with the artillery, he managed to pop him out. But you, you know, it can be a double-edged sword because uh, from first two shots we've seen from the guys there, like, not using artillery is great, so <laughs> maybe it was a good idea that uh, good thing that. Uh, yeah, I think they just want to get out. rid of him. <laughs> get rid of him just to level the playing field, I guess. Um, uh, maybe. We'll see what Raven does here. He's he's having a bit of a look around. I he's trying to get his angles blimp. around. Yeah. Go for a nice mortar. I oh. wanted to say it's easy to shoot mortar here, but this map is so oh. so strange in terms of angling. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's definitely easy shooting it uphill, though. Because <laughs> it's, um... Yeah, I guess, but uh, even uh, standing uh, in the bottom of those hills and shooting into the artillery is like two mm. different sides, you need two different shots. So this yeah, map exactly. is all about le learning. Mm. Like it's, a good place, it's a good place to um, practice.
practice different elevations and different um, power levels that you'll need. I mean, it's a huge thing that uh, Rui is poisoning, mm. but uh, he's only doing single poisons. So yeah. uh, if uh, Raven will play fast and he will deal stable 40-50 damage, uh, it may be not enough for Rui. You got scout, wait, what are you doing? <laughs> to the right, just use mortar. To the right, to the right. I think there is scout to the right. Yellow scout. Um, I th think so. He might actually no. Th is he on the? No, I think he's on the other side. He's on the. Um... No, no, no. He is close to him. He he got TNT into his face. Oh yes, yes. Wow, he he really got like uh, good mortars. Yeah. That I was... even consider this one good. Yeah. Bit of a uh, bit of frame drop there, but. <laughs> yeah. Oh, bit of lag. Oh, lots of. Uh... Frame drops I'm not sure you. if that's me or if that's Raven, I'm not sure. Uh, okay. Luckily it's paused the game, so he's not lost any time there. Yeah, um, great. Which is good. Uh, yeah. How do you call it again? <laughs> um, duck play, net station. That's the net, net station. Okay. That's the official <laughs> uh, title now. Oh. It's definitely <laughs> Yeah, yeah guys, you need to remember that we are hosting uh, Australia with Great Britain, like yeah. huge distance covered. And not only we're we doing that, but I'm hosting Clockroo through Parsec. So we're going from me to par through Parsec to Clockroo. So, well, Clockroo through Parsec to me, and then. Wow, he <laughs> look, <laughs> look at, at that. that. He's really heavy on poison. Yeah, he's poisoning the whole team. Yeah, so. But then again, it's uh, not a game over uh, if Raven can collect anything, like mortar here yeah. or air boost. He's, po he's poisoned the uh, whole he just team, much fast. making use of the fact that he's got no medics on his team, but um, if he could do, yeah, as you said, if he does stable damage, um, he can definitely uh, out damage. Uh, yeah, and more. in trenches, uh, mortars are highly efficient. I remember <laughs> once I saw, I think it was also Grand League match, JJ against Candyman, when uh, JJ needed two fifties. And he did something like 50 and 60 mortars. And oh, wow. <laughs> it's like such a huge highlight. Of Things I can game. only dream of <laughs> on oh, <and> the self <laughs> damage. Always with the bazooka. Mm. It's only a 13, though. It's negligible. <laughs> poison again. <laughs> poison again? The whole Is that the whole team that's poisoned? Uh, yeah, like it's a good thing that he got a strategy and he's doing it, but... Uh, he's, he's thought mm, of this beforehand, definitely. Uh, it can work on Raven, but uh, you always need to understand uh, you're throwing... You're making a turn of 15 damage. Next yeah. turn it would be a turn of 25 damage, so... But you like, think every in, 5 turns that's 50 damage. <laughs> So it's it's ten, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh no! Every five every five pigs, that's that's fifty damage across the board, you know. Yeah. But um. Yeah, but... I mean it's uh, it's good in uh, long term, but then again, uh, yeah. people can uh, self delete pigs. People can uh, end game fast, so. Uh, Definitely, like... yeah. Single poison is a good turn, but. Um... It's not game winning, so no need to relax. On yes. the other hand, double poison is uh, is huge. A double poison is opinion. huge, yeah. <clears throat> Unfortunately, this is not the map to be um, where you would want to get a double poison. No, very it kind of is. It can, but it can you need happen. to do it from the very beginning. Yeah. Wow. That was spot on. Look at that. And some <laughs> shrapnel damage. Look at that. 60. 60, yeah. Huge. Spot on. It's such a beautiful weapon, and uh, it's all about details, about frames with uh, air burst. I remember yeah. practicing with Nicholas, and first turn on pitch invasion, he tranquilized me. Second turn, he dealing like 80 damage, <laughs> and uh, the wheel of play is just not there <laughs> anymore. <laughs> Bit of sapper on sapper action. Yeah, it's actually a very interesting match. 
in Grand League so much focus on poison. And I can well, I can see why if you're um if you're inaccurate, just slowly whittling them <laughs> down. But um, yeah, and you can see uh, like health bar wise, and it's even without uh, TNT turn. Yeah. It's not that uh, like huge advantage for you right now. So Raven got a chance, and uh, like controlling the turn schemes from him, from him, like to not enable. Yeah. Mm. Th this sapper is kitted out. He's got his jetpack. Oh, I'm not sure airburst. about that, actually. If he will place TNT right now... Okay, he's not. Yeah, then probably okay. it's fine. It's a solid 70 from that turn. Mm -hmm. It's a great turn, because water here is just broken. He can swim uh, immense distance, let's yeah. see. Oh, luck of a good spin. That yeah, was... Nothing crazy, but a good spin, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so far, Ru used uh, artillery efficient, I guess. First turn was not good, but then again, poison barrel. Yes. All about his strategy. Such a good mortar. Good, that was a good hit, yeah. That's definitely where you want it. Yeah, but without, you know... You don't want a dead without, center, because uh, you don't want a dead center on the top, because then none of the shrapnels will hit it. Yeah, I agree, but without Engineer, yeah. it's too long, and well, then again... Uh, he's wasted a few turns, well, not wasted, but he's spent a few turns trying to pop that artillery, and it's still not, still not yeah, down. Yeah, 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 exactly. And if you're hitting artillery, you're not hitting picks, and, like, you cannot not hit artillery, because uh, yeah. then Ru will just keep turns inside. Well, exactly, yeah, it's just, he's just stalling him out in, inside the artillery, yeah. So probably it would be better to do 50 damage with mortars and uh, use engineer to, like, use class uh, sharpness on artillery. Definitely, yeah. He's very determined. The actually. 80 or 100 versus, yeah, he, should, he's, he really wants to get him out before, he's, um, before he uses it again. I'm happy that uh, Raven is going is doing good mortars because it's uh, oh. not that one probably, but not that one. But it's great. Uh, so far, it's pretty good. Yeah, he's has damage his own guy more than uh, Ooh, uh, Ruse pick okay. there. But now ten artillery is left, and he's got a thousand pound shell looking straight at Nobby. <laughs> Can he? Uh, yeah, looks oh, good. Oh my goodness. That hurts. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of his mistake, Ravens. Like, if you're using mortar, why are you standing so close? <laughs> like, well, that's the thing. You yeah, can do I it think. From yeah. Any part of the map. Yeah, I think he was um, just making sure that he wanted to get that. Um, he was standing closer because he didn't want to have the risk of missing the mortar. Yeah, probably. I know I, I would definitely, if I had only mortars to destroy the artillery, that's what I'd be doing because I would not trust myself with a long range mortar. Good shot, but I think bazookas are not enough anymore, yeah. Health bar updated and we can see. I, I think it's updated with um, 1000 pound. Definitely, uh, yeah. That was, uh, that was a big chunk of health taken off. Just How much he got? Home. I think he got like, something like in, uh, yeah, in turn skip range. Because he got 50 something yeah. after uh, water. I think uh, he's damage. got his para, so I think it's scout and then gunner, so he's got to make sure to try and maybe avoid that skip if he can. Mm. Going for a bazooka here instead of the water. Oh no, he's got, oh, that's right, he's the paratrooper. Ah, uh, he, he got mortar, so he should probably just uh, shoot straight. Oh, he does too. Near yeah, scout. He, he picked some up. Probably just, yeah, he's going to end this artillery now. Good thing for Raven that uh, he uh, faced such uh, painful strategy against him, and he got... Oh, oh. additional damage? No. He got two scouts against him, right? Yeah, he does. So... Yeah. No, wait, 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 wait. Two engineers, paratrooper, two scouts. And two scouts, yeah. Yes, it's two scouts. Yeah, the double scouts. Uh, so, further, he will be playing against, like, only Medi Grenadier farm. 
powerful mm. class. So he pr- can probably come back and uh, since uh, Ruiz player one in this game and he invested so much, he can be struggling a little. Yeah. But we will see. Well, yeah, seeing as um, <clears throat> seeing as uh, Raven will be going next, I uh, thought he'll be going first next turn or next match rather. He yeah, um, yeah. he will have the upper hand depending on what sort of strategy he's pick- he picked for that map. And that is a rip on Ginger there. Yeah. And he killed um, non-poisoned pig. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nothing is changing. Yeah. Passive uh, income. For every single turn. Mm. He's doing a TNT on this sapper, but yeah, nothing is changing. Uh, he's on 55 himself. He's one TNT away from a skip, and he's oh, slid. Nico's turn. He's got a 17 on himself, and a bit of water damage. Yeah, I think game is decided because nothing is actually happening to change the outcome like the game is stale uh, guys are just dealing damage and uh, yeah. Rugat upper hand is poison yeah, so yeah slowly I think his, his strategy definitely was um was getting in that artillery just stalling him out while he poisons his guys I think it's a good demonstration of why 45 seconds so much different to 30 I really doubt that aha uh-huh, not paying attention <laughs> yeah, it's actually um, like a bad habit. Yeah, I, I probably feel like he feels game is decided, but uh, it's not always you can understand the game flow and such. So it's always better to play till the end, and uh, that. Well, you, yeah, you never know. He could, um, he could pull something amazing. But again, all of his pigs are poisoned, so. Um... Well, you're, you're not doing it uh, like playing till the end, not doing it for your best games. You're doing it in case of like the worst game. So, yes, I that's would right. probably make a turn skip there. Or set up with a grenade launcher, of course. But yeah, game is pretty much pretty much over. And uh, what I want to say over the top on 45 seconds is just uh, ridiculous. Yeah, how, <laughs> you've got how so much time reach. to just do whatever you need. And, um... uh, he's not skipping turns. Okay, probably he's playing he... for battle result score. Because if you're not, uh, if you're poison skip, skipping uh, picks, you're not getting points. Yeah, definitely. And, then and the, the, he could just skip you and it'll heal. Yep. Oh, there yeah. Actually, it's probably a gentleman. Okay, it's probably a gentleman uh, yeah. <laughs> behavior because he is just ending game fast. Okay, okay. he's a pacifist. He realizes that yeah, it's over, and that was a clean sweep for Rue there. All, yeah, all yeah. five. Good strategy, good execution, and uh, then again, focusing artillery so much with mortars. Like mm. mortars were great, but the mortars if were you're great. hitting artillery, yeah, you're not hitting pigs, and it's pretty much it. Exactly. Yeah. It's it, when you, you, I think of it, you could be, you know, you're, you're getting a 50 or, a, you know, 55 or something when you could be getting an 80 or a hundred with a shrapnel versus yeah. a 50 on a pig, you know? So yeah. Um, Clockery definitely had a good strategy going into um, over the top. Um, but yes, the yes. next, the next map I believe is, um, what have we got here? Uh, Ridge, Ridgeback, which I've actually never heard of this map before. So it's, um, It'll be a uh, first time for me seeing this one, uh, but oh, any, really? any, any comments about that game? Or shall we... Um... Uh, over the top? Yeah. Yeah, uh, I think, uh, yeah, we can continue and we can yeah. speak meanwhile, I guess. Or is it a long set? Yeah, no worries. <laughs> All right. So we'll have the instantaneous uh, transition to the next squad. <laughs> All right, welcome back to Grunt League. You excited yeah. after that last match? Yeah, it's exciting time to get a uh, share screen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Again. There we go. Yeah, last match was um, good. Uh, great showcase of two strategies. Uh, probably no real mistake from Ru. Yeah. 
It's uh, either it's the long maybe term from planning. Like a couple shots, uh, first artillery shots, and also he he was not uh, kind of toxic about his him winning. He just when when the game ended, he finished it fast. Yeah, without, he said, yeah, you know, he was just, time. yeah, he he knew it was over, and he just um very sportsmanlike to um to just end it yeah. and say yeah. It's always good. Well, good. So uh, we got two very similar lineups going in. Uh, Clockroo's got his medic, para scout, para mm-hmm. sapper, uh, and Raven has a medic, grenadier, two sappers, and the scout. Mm-hmm. So similar sort of ranks, but they're going um, different. Raven with the grenadier. What do you think? Is he going to be able to see the most of it? Uh, hard to say. Uh, in terms of best of three, like I read it. Uh, then again, it's 45 seconds. Uh, it's different maps, but exactly. uh, from my 30 seconds experience, I would not bring Medic on Grassinals at all. Like, I don't like Medic on over the top much, but I don't like playing offensive on uh, Grassinals. So, oh, no, Medic on... here. Well, no, no, yeah. this is Ridgeback. Yeah, uh, yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. yeah. So, oh, for, yeah, so can, uh... for next one, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So, probably so... bringing Grenadier here is like best decision from Raven. Yes, I don't gotcha, know. yeah. Yeah, because on Grassinal, so much crates and uh, Grenadier, like, he's limited to his uh, inventory. So, I feel like uh, that's why he's bad decision on Grassinals. Yeah, yeah. Too many Com- crates. Coming out, coming out strong on, uh, on Ridgeback because he's probably going to make the most of Grassy Knolls. Yeah, I'm just worried about Raven because so much water, it's so easy to, you know, uh, to, to drown, <laughs> ruin your cluster. Yeah. Uh, Definitely. Yeah, I guess we can we yeah. can stop. I guess. Well, yeah, we'll get going, and I will give it control to Ru real quick, and I'll make sure to uh, yeah. <laughs> give you the yeah, stream. Yeah. <laughs> and also, I guess uh, like since Raven starting first, he got an advantage. Yeah, like coming out, he will be play. starting first, so he'll be able to make, uh, he'll be able to get that uh, the moment action, and so we're gonna, yeah. yep, Locker has got it. Gonna give control, and I, oh, I have to full screen. Hang on. Yeah. Is that still streaming for you? Uh, no. <laughs> okay. Black screen. There we go. And Clockroo yes. is doing it again. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, you need to be very, very, very cautious with the reachback. Killing even one peak will uh, uh, will disrupt uh, medic on medic. Yes, definitely. I've actually never seen this map. I th- oh, yeah. Maybe huh. it's com- Is this a new map? I can't remember. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was introduced in uh, Vanilla Hooks of War. Oh, right, yeah. I think it's coming back to me now. <laughs> Uh, I mean, uh, it's it changed. It was changed so much by Pinstripe. It's kind of a new map. Yeah, yeah, it's been modified. A lot it, of minefields much here. More so, safe. yeah, definitely uh-huh. interesting to see. Hopefully, the minefields get used because um, <clears throat> we've seen a lot of um, Grunt League where the minefields haven't been utilized as much as they could. I'm so worried that he he will not make it in time. Yeah, and no body block. No body block. But uh, he's still got the, the murmur off. He okay, could have maybe jumped over. Uh, yeah, he can. Probably he his strategy is to utilize that guy. Yeah. He probably doesn't maybe jumping back and forth because he probably might not be able to make it without damaging himself. But I mean, it's probably ah, it's uh, negligible. Damage is so minor, it's yeah. not important. But now Raven's got his Grenadier ready to go, and he hopefully does not hit this minefield. Mm, going around the edge of it, which time. is good. Oh, don't go there. Like, oh. <laughs> oh. we've got a single mine that is uh, so dangerous. Yeah. That's uh, why I was worried, like... Uh, Ah, uh. <laughs> this is uh, it's gonna bounce off of the. Yep. Oh, he could have detonated about. Oh, it's gonna slide Wait down. For it. That yeah. was unfortunate. <laughs> I mean, he cannot blame anyone except himself. Actually, like this position was just terrible. Yeah, we, he didn't. Yeah, he didn't make the most of the forty-five seconds. Could have. 
And I'm not sure if yeah. he, yeah. This is why it's a good idea to play on the maps before you actually um, <laughs> get into I think the... you played, like, uh, it's, uh, this map is uh, too unique. Uh, yeah, I think it always was a subject for, uh, you know, uh, game nights. Yes, yeah. Oh, he restored body block. <laughs> so there you go. Thing. Yeah, he managed to to get it back there. Hmm. Oh, into the mines, yeah. Kind of not the best position uh, since you know. Well, it, it's is... kind of. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. He throw picks so uh, precise into the middle that camera was freaking out. I'll have to I'll have to add a um, a disclaimer to the video saying do not watch this if you have if you're photosensitive. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Yeah. Well, can he get away yeah, in time? Usually, it would be not great idea to just uh, you know scoop opponent, but I really doubt Raven can punish him for that. So uh, yeah. you're playing not against the game against opponent. Right? It was nice, nice. Yeah, I think it's <laughs> it's a huge advantage from the very beginning. <laughs> oh, is, oh, yeah, he's seen the, the line here. I'm not sure it's a good idea. It's not like, ideal. Two picks. Yeah. Yeah, it's better to poison one but be in safe uh, spot. Yeah. yeah, I like that. Yeah, that's, that's a lot better. He that's might better. be able to get a... Get it to slide around, maybe bounce off the mines there, but... Uh-huh. Yeah, let, let, oh, him, yeah. let him... Let him... Oh, uh -huh. it's gone straight Wait up. for it. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Raven, what about the uh, random crate? It can save you the game, actually. Couple air strikes or something. Okay, yeah. whatever. Could yeah, have spent I guess the time to, to go into that minefield there. With 45 seconds, yeah, you would have thought. Even on 30, I would do it, and like yeah. you spawned right before it. I guess he's just not ready. He was not uh, sure how to move Grenadier around yeah. the map, and his random crate. I think Clocker is um, gonna go for it here. Yep. Yeah. Right in the middle. Whoa. Okay, there we go. Yay, grab that flamethrower. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> What has he got? Oh. Look at that. Yeah, kind of not worth it, but uh, you never know. You should always go for it if you have time. It was worth the memes, though. That's that's the most yeah, important thing. And it's also worth it to just uh, be sure you're not giving something powerful to your uh, you know, opponent. Ex exactly, yeah. You know that... You know that you, at least you tried to grab it. <laughs> wow. That was... Like, Interesting. Not a single yeah. mine exploded. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's. I think he's just on the edge. I'm gonna have to be careful when he's uh trying to get off that beach there. <laughs> oh, this is this is just too good. Yeah. He's close to the minefield though. Like too close. He's close. close. Too close for comfort. And it's a big minefield, and it's gonna. No, it's not gonna have enough momentum yeah. to <laughs> slide. <laughs> That's the one where you want to... I would go and punish him right now, to yeah. be honest. And he's right near, he's with his, um... He's with his sapper, but he's not... He's not doing I it, he's um, around. did not understand the turn when uh, Medic was pushed. Like, uh, Ru pushed Medic's closer to your opponent Medic. Usually it's a huge luck that Medics are not body blocked, you can focus them. Yes, yeah. yeah. It Definitely. was not used for some reason. I'm gonna hide behind the building there. Lucky like spin. Extra damage. I think both of them are just going for sheer force now. They're just going for as much damage as they can do. And oh, dude, please heal. heal. Raven has forgotten <laughs> to heal. I was gonna say that. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I guess they're just on different level. Uh, plenty of time, but um, didn't make Also, you need to understand that Raven is playing from UK. Right now, like, yeah. he started match on, uh, at 5 a.m. Right yeah, now he, he, he said he just woke up and he was a bit drowsy. <laughs> and he, at yeah, 5 o'clock in the morning, that. you're probably not as cognitive as the uh, 
as the Australians, yeah. which um, it's five it's o'clock also here. Five I think, I think Clocker is an hour behind. I think me. Mm -hmm. This is interesting. Oh, this well, point, he's going to yeah. risk it. Buy a shop more. Yeah, why not? I wonder if he can jump on the thing and just drop one down, but that was that would be kind of weird. It's strange, like, every single action he's making in... Oh! oh. Was that a... Kind of like... Yeah. Yeah, no, it's 50. Uh, every single action I've seen from him, like, uh, Shrapnel, Cluster, uh, he's doing it, like, uh, way more difficult than it's supposed to be. Yeah. I don't know why. Like, uh, so, Yeah, went over the, not... the building there, <laughs> instead of just straight You're on. not changing the angle on uh, Shrapnel at all, uh, as the only single person I know who is like six, um, successful at it is uh, X Y. Mm. He got his own method. Usually, cool uh, sharpness are so uh, uh, how to say unstable that you're minimizing any change you can do to it. Like, yes. Yeah. You wanna you wanna try to copy exactly what you've done every single yeah, time. Yeah. Yeah. Throwing this exact power, uh, this exact angle and such. Yeah, it's kind of like you want to, be to say, here. okay. <laughs> I think the uh, edge he's... of that thing has uh -huh. no mines there. Yeah, yeah, Pinstripe removed uh, mines from the very edge, so right. now you can traverse. Sometimes I want to say something like, okay, he's putting picks close, uh, they can't be bunched up, but in this game, I don't really see it being a factor. There's not a, yeah, there's not been a whole lot of bunching up. Um, but they've not also they've also not been trying to bunch each other up as well. I would um, say there is tons of possibility to bunch up, but uh, like yes, yeah, I'm just not used. And without grenadier, uh, this uh, medic not healing. Uh, I don't know how Raven can find uh, an advantage for himself. Yes. Oh, rocket launcher. Rocket launcher, yeah, he might be able to, yeah. I know what he's doing now, <laughs> yep. Yeah. Might Numbers even have the time to get a aligned. get the jetpack on the that scout there. And knock him oh, into the minefield. Yes, probably, probably. That's what I'd be doing, yeah. Make the most of your time. No? Okay. Yeah, probably he's... Maybe uh, not. Maybe nervous he cannot make it in time, maybe. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> and that is a surefire skip. Mm hmm Yeah, I cannot judge him harsh, because the game is too easy on him, like, mm. he's not really hard, like, uh, hard trying, let's say, but... Yeah. Uh, uh, Not using any really uh, sweaty strategies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, um, just, uh, I, I, I don't know. Uh, I guess we should leave some notes just like for future games. Because, uh, yeah, he got 53 peaks. He used yeah. 50 damage. And yeah, it's it's poison. Uh, but uh, to make it harder for your opponent, it's probably better to use like three head jumps and bazooka. So he will get like 10 Yes. Uh, HP, and it will be harder to, uh, to get him. You know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, to jump. It'll be harder, yeah, to end the, to minimize the skip turn by damaging your own guy. Yeah, uh, but uh, you need to understand it's right now. It's not a critique. It's just uh, like for future games. Cause in this yeah. game he can do whatever, really whatever. So like, there's always room to improve in this game. It's just... Yeah, I mean, but uh, this action was not needed, and mm. if it was ADB plane, I will never like say something like that. My, I, I would never advise him to do yeah. something different. <laughs> but in context of grants, it's, yes, it's all about sharing experience. <clears throat> yeah, it, but it's refreshing to see like there's there's no. It's very pure, I guess, in terms of <laughs> there's no really crazy strategies being used. You know, there's just it's just pure. Yeah, it's just going for pure damage. You know, 
Uh, it's not a little bit of poison here and there, but the, yeah, it's not yeah. over optimized to the point when it's painful to. You know, play you're not doing mathematical the... calculations in your head trying to go, oh, yes, well, forty yes, plus yes. thirty. Yeah, yeah, that'll be ten. You know. Um, yeah, for that reason, time. I never try to hide my, you know, uh, how much uh, HP my poison peak got. Yes. I, I expect my opponent to know it. To like, know it would exactly. be a disrespect, yeah, to hide your HP. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Because you're expecting them so. to have that intel. Yeah. And usually they have, uh, like, good players can even calculate, uh, I don't know, uh, clusters. Getting himself closer to the minefield here. Oh, he's got, oh, he's, I think he's realized that probably not a good idea being that close to the mine. You know, Raven is great for uh, testing new players. Uh, I mean, uh, he's probably that gatekeeper from Grand League to Middle League. Definitely, yeah. Not overly, um... Doesn't know, like, like he's everything. He's not weak by any means. Yeah. But, uh... Like, good middle if ground. you have some breakthrough player, uh... They need to be tested uh, this uh, Raven. Oh, look so at that. He's... Oh, yeah, Very beautiful. Nice. So he's like, uh... Not gatekeeper, but... Uh... <laughs> gatekeeper got bad vibe about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Let's see shuttles. Let's train. Let's okay, whatever. Yeah. Easy 50. <laughs> He's aiming for mines. Uh, see, what you would think I about think doing is, is changing that TNT so to be closer to that barrel. I'm not sure if that scout's going next, but... No, uh, I don't think you can, uh, like, create something with that TNT. Yeah. yeah. You just place it. This situation is pretty much... Sh yeah, uh, this situation is pretty much sharpened situation, because TNT, uh, that precise push, got no... no point. You yeah. cannot push it to mines, to water, so... I would use shrapnel. And look at that! Magic is alive! Back in the game. Recently I despise mines. Uh, mines are skipping too much of my turns. You know that bug when you're placing mine and timer <laughs> is resetted. Usually it happens on like five second timer, like last five seconds. But yes. for me it started to happen even on 30. I don't know why. Maybe I'm placing it too really? fast or something. Uh... <laughs> oh, this is okay. Uh... This is interesting. I love his yeah, he's trying to show off, but <laughs> just finish the game. Just... <laughs> <laughs> oh, he just about got that off. Gonna walk back yeah, inside. in, in real gameplay, you kind of see his personality. <clears throat> yeah. Is there any good crates? I think there is mortar, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Rocket launcher, probably. I think at this point they just want to, um, they just want to deal damage. They're not thinking about any strategy. He might go for a place a mine and then. No, he's not even placing a mine. He's just going to go straight for the bazooka. Yeah, two turns to finish the game, so. Not really. Nothing crazy going on. Yeah, so on. it's uh, basically. Uh, let's check the group. I will check it. Uh... It's, it's, it's... It's much of group... Uh... <laughs> oh my, I cannot find it. Of group C. Group C. Uh -huh. So, Ru so far defeated uh, Mamach. He defeated Raven. Uh, I guess he's taking first place, because I... Uh, after Mamach game, I kind of cannot see any challenge for him. Yes, uh, yeah. Who... Rue definitely has a um, good knowledge of the game. He's, he's definitely been watching a lot of the um, a lot of the league matches, and he, he knows the maps better than I do. Um, <laughs> I guess for real improvement, like he needs to before his best of three, if he's seen like ma match lineup, you can use Castor's uh, Elo score. It got uh, map uh, list. Yes, so every yeah. single map that was played you can find and you can find matches uh, and you can actually uh, gather experience from like pro players 
because uh, yeah, grants are great. I also using grants matches for gathering some experience, but mm. uh, it's always good to check on someone who spent like uh, hundreds of hours in the game. So yeah, yeah. For the the self mortar here. The self mortar. <laughs> the self deletion mortar. Let's check if it's self deletion actually. Huh? Is it? Oh no! Oh, I still no, have No, too much HP. Okay, two all and uh, two nil. Grenadier kind of bited Raven. He got less HP and he never got efficient turn. Definitely, yeah. He um <clears throat> he. But that mine, <laughs> you know, bouncing that that cluster up. I think that was um definitely crippling for uh for Raven there because he wasn't able to utilize his grenadier in the in the one turn that he actually got. Um, clock crew focusing him in that start. Um, yeah, but match. but you know, agreeing to match at five a.m. Uh, huge respect for Raven. I would oh, never do such a thing. <laughs> stronger man than me, I could not do that. <laughs> yeah, so There's no way. GG. <laughs> and GG Ru, uh, good, uh, good gameplay, good strategy on first, uh, on second, uh, it's kinda more of Raven stumbling on, on the map than Ru winning, uh, to be honest, but I first so, map, yeah. you, you can s really see Ru potential, I guess it's uh, definitely a candidate for middle league. Oh, but definitely, we'll yeah, yeah, with, yeah, just learning to, I guess, utilize the battlefield a bit more, you know, especially the most of the you know grouping and, and minefields and uh, he, such. he got a good progress and um, uh, i think definitely. he got passion for the game so yeah absolutely all right <laughs> all right so that i guess that'll conclude our commentary yes yes uh see you guys in in next videos see you in the next video um thanks everyone for watching yeah see you <laughs>